Okay, here is my cascading larch tree that I'm trying out. Um, I had, I, I just took some wire off and put a new piece of wire on. I just figured we didn't need to show that. Um, Cause I need, I want to bring it down. I want to change the shape a little more. Bring this down here. looking for for front. Okay, now we're just going to do a quick trim up of it in some spaces. Like, um, I'm going to remove this. This because it's kind of on the inside. This is on the inside. This I don't need. This I'm going to trim back. Just gonna leave this grow, I think, for now. I'm gonna get rid of a little bud here and clean this old cut spot up. This we need to clip back to get it to grow out in different directions. In a different direction here. You know what? I actually think I want it back. Another one. And then we're gonna get rid of this bud growing up. We're not going to touch the top. Um, we're not going to touch the top because I want that to just grow. Um, we need to remove this. I don't know. I just figured I'd give it a try. A uh, cascading larch. This is just a bunch of larches that were put into this pot because I had extra trees and I think because my bench was broken they grew in an angle hopefully they sort themselves out a little bit now I'll have to wire them at some point we'll just weed why we got it out And this might get put together with um, some other trees. I have an idea. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it or not. Just to see what I get for trees. It might go with, together with some more other mm, larches I have and something else. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna give these a general clipping. I'm just gonna clip these, get them a little in thing. I'm not worrying about um, I'm not worrying about where branches are facing because it could be either side and. Like I said, it's probably not. They were just thrown in here because I had nothing better to do with them. So I'm just trimming these up to keep them trimmed. I'm going to let them grow too. Uh, up, thicken up and stuff. I'm just going through quickly and try 
reefs a little bit. Let's see, I think this will be the last thing I clip off. Uh, maybe I'll clip off a little bit of a couple of these too. So there's that one. Okay, these are the ones that I left in a box too long I bought this year. Um, they bounced back, so um, I didn't kill them. This is the only one that had the most, it's still alive, but it lost most of its top, so we'll just chop, we'll just chop that top off that. And I don't think I'm going to really do anything with these yet, because they're recovering. Um, I just wanted to show it, show them. They may get moved in with the other, those last large. Um, next year. This is a small forest I set up after uh, what I had left of the uh, the large forest last year. These were like the best ones um, out of all I had. So I made them into a purpose-built forest unlike those other two well the last one the one I did this year I actually made up if I want to keep it it'll stay um, but the the first one I did small forest it it's just um, it was just put together hastily get out some of this stuff so this was um, done up last year and so it grew one year in this pot one season um, I had t actually taken this we have my bonsai group we have we usually have it in January but um, for some reason we had to move it to February this year and had it on my oh because of COVID we just had more restrictions at the place we were doing in January because um, it's in Delaware, it's their state. They were having a little bit of a lockdown for January. Um, so we had it in February instead and had an online one. But we bring in a tree, um, it's called Winter Silhouette. We show off a tree's Winter Silhouette. And I thought this was a pretty good one even though it hadn't been grown long. It had a pretty good silhouette to it, just for the trees in it. And it, and I left all the the needles on it on the ground to which we'll call it. So that's what I shared this year. At that, um, I'm just gonna do a little bit of trimming to select a few things. Um, there's not a lot to trim off on this yet, as it's not. It hasn't grown a lot. I'm just trying to select pieces for the top. To grow, because I would like them to thicken up some more. Um, take this one. 
And I might have to come back once these... I've never had any luck with cutting. I don't think you want to cut the, the newer green things off unless you're cutting them off, period. But I don't want to cut them in half because they haven't firmed up some. This I'm going to chop out just to get it out of there. And clean that up. Yeah, it's not a lot of this growing into each other yet. Um, I think that's how we'll leave it. We'll rotate it for you. What about there is the front? So that will do it for all of my large trees. Oh no, 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 I have one more large. I'll do that a separate video. Um, I have the old collected one that's been growing in a, a basin. I'll do that as another video. But that is it for the smaller ones and don't need much work. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you next time.